She knows how to hoot nanny, yeah. I got a yeah, man, Franny. She knows how to hoot nanny. She knows how to love me, yes, indeed. Wapa, wap, 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 wap. Oh, that's nice. Okay, it's almost time to bust the funky rhyme in our prime. No, for the handlebar show. Handlebar show. Ah, filming live from a third-story one-bedroom apartment in North Mishawak, Indiana, the Princess City, cursed by geese. It's the handlebar growing mustache extravaganza with your host Dave. Handlebar mustache show. Handlebar mustache show. Stash is looking great, but we can't be late. For the Handlebar Mustache Show. Welcome back to year six, day two twenty, take two, test edition. Ah, oh, Fat, is that you? Ah, oh, Fat, what's going on over there? Well, I took a test today for my server training for my liquor license. It had been giving me problems on the computer. The test would shut the computer down because the what's that? Adobe Flash was all messed up. So I had to readjust that and get a new one and a new PDF flash, whatever. So after doing that, it worked seamlessly. So I, update, I, update, update. I flew through it because that's about the ninth to tenth time I've taken the test. So I knew all the answers. So not bad. And I put one on the Bulletin board in my house or one in my wallet. You say they could train a chimpanzee to serve beer. Oh, I'm sure you do a good job. <laughs> okay, with, okay. with these craft beers, it's super easy. They just ask if you like wet or dry. And if they like a dry beer, you give them an empty glass. There you go. <laughs> Sorry for your luck, buddy. Sorry for your luck. They had hard ciders. Uh, Allie wanted us to bring back some blueberry wine next year, Franny. Oh. Blueberry wine, 17. No, that's strawberry wine. They had blueberry wine, too, though. Hmm. And I got my buddy a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That turned out just right. So, well, let me think. I guess that's it. They got a football game on. They about killed Joe Flacco. I think the worst mistake was leaving the guy in the game because he's going to be pounded on by all the other opponents. They're going to run plays just to hurt that guy. Yeah, it was uh, definitely couldn't let up on the hit, for sure. It wasn't a... Uh, yeah, he... It's, I mean, I don't know. It's hard. To, well, either way, it was a bad. Yeah, when you knocked the guy's helmet off and he hit him that hard, plus the forearm shiver that came with it too. He didn't. He didn't try to let up. So it'd be different if, like, they collided and he had his hands up in the air trying to. But he tried to drive the guy into the ground. Oh. Uh. Not good. NFL already has a hard enough time getting quarterbacks. It's the last thing they want to see is guys knocking the quarterbacks out. Yeah, yeah, they have rules to protect the quarterback, and then they don't. Well, they gave him a penalty, but yeah, they said if it was flagrant, they could have gave him automatic ejection. So they, they just didn't. Uh, I guess it happened so fast. You think that would be something they would use uh, the review for? You know, something that important. They could have looked right. at it, and you know, but. I tell you what, it's pretty inconsistent. So. Well, I've probably said too much. Yeah, I think I said just enough. Knock out wood. Keep it classy in their web. And until I get done with this yard bird, I mean chicken, uh, from Fran T, Fat T, High T, and the whole T family, we bid you all a Archie and a new uh, the whole T.